Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you want to help our channel grow, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and if you like the video, make sure to like it. We appreciate it. It helps us grow. So if you want to see more pops, you got to pop that button. Thank you. Hey guys, we have a growth on the upper arm here. It's hard to see. There's a little discoloration you can see right there. Possible, it's been ultrasound. They think maybe lipoma. You can see when you squeeze, it's not real big. We're just gonna do a little punch removal today and see if it's a calcified cyst that can have some discoloration and be kind of firm like that, or it could be just a, a, a small lipoma that's under pressure. So we'll just have a little punch and put in a couple stitches and see if we can pull that out. It is uh, about a centimeter down, so it should present itself once we do that punch and we'll see. Okay guys, we're doing a little punch removal of possibly a small lipoma or maybe a calcified cyst. We're gonna find out. Sometimes you don't know until you get in there. So we're trying to make just a small scar here. We marked where it was, just nice and numb. I'm gonna do a little bit of a circular cut here, just like that. And we're gonna see, I like to pull up so I get a, a, an ellipse going this way for my closure. And I can already see a little bit of fat tissue poking out there, which can be a good sign. Any pain there at all now? Good. There's a little, this is kind of firm, a little bit of encapsulation right underneath where I punched. Actually, there's some fat tissue there, but we're gonna look in there a little bit deeper to see. However, when I did punch it, it popped right out, which is good. Any pain there now? Sometimes if we do a little tugging, something will start coming to the surface. But these are all single lobulations here. A little bit of fat tissue. And that one I took out was kind of encapsulated a little and a little firm actually. Just good. Okay, I'll do a little simple closure. And you did have an ultrasound and they said it was a lipoma, right? Is that right? I think yes. you said, yeah. So that could have been right. Just, I was feeling it a little bit deeper, so I'm going to cut and break, see if I can break anything up right there. No pain? No. Little squeeze, no pain there either. Good. There we go. I think that little little discolored lobule is the bottom part of it. It's a little bit lighter than all that. A little bit more white right here than that surrounding yellow, more yellow fat tissue. So that could be. Yeah, it's a little firmer too. So that could have been the bottom of it. Just this little kind of encapsulated fat tissue that didn't want to be there. Same color right there. I was say that. Yeah. Felt. You felt that a little? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're getting kind of to the bottom there, but that is like a little, just it was probably a centimeter. That was the bottom. The pop top came off right when I kind of punched it. If there's something down there and I squeeze real hard, I can usually get it to present itself. It'll come up. Like if there was a little cyst or something like that, and I don't see anything in there. So that's a good sign. Just a couple stitches to close that, and that nugget should be out of there. Make sure right here. Any pain with that? No? Yeah, that's just a simple lobule, it looks like. It's hard when they're small because they're all the same color and they kind of look like the surrounding tissue sometimes. A little pain? Okay. 
Just like a tug or a sting? Mm -hmm. It's more like a tug. Gotcha. A lot more out of there because these are all when I'm pulling them, they're just little. Anything here? Nope. Right there. Possibly one more little lobule there. Yeah. There we go. It's a lot. The only one I see. It looks like that. Kind of have three of them about that size. Oh, we did not prove the ultrasound wrong. <laughs> A little powder right here to stop it. One little bleeder. There. We don't need to do anything additional. That's it. We'll put a pressure bandage on there as well. Just a couple stitches and that should be good. You may feel a little indentation there sometimes, just because we took out, you know, a nickel size and fat tissue, but that will redistribute pretty quickly. So no worries there. Didn't see anything discolored either. Um, sometimes we will, but because uh, it kind of looked like you could see it through the surface a little. No I pain here? No. Good, let me know. If you have any sting at all, we'll put more in. too exciting but there definitely was a little I could feel a lobule and, and two of those out of the couple I took out were kind of firm so they could have been kind of an inflamed glaucoma wait and see what the path report says You were having tenderness with it though, hopefully that will stop that because if there was a little kind of firm bump in there, when you leaned on something, you know, if that's out of there, you shouldn't have any, any more pain. Now I have seen sometimes where I take out and there's a neuroma, which can be a growth off of nerve tissue that can be kind of sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, it'll kind of be white. I didn't see anything that looked like that, but that's why I send out everything we take off there. Yeah, because the second one that you removed, that one I really felt, and it was, yeah. it's more like, like I said, like a nerve. Where yeah, it, it's kind it's of a running from my Yeah, from my yeah. shoulder to the elbow. Yeah, there was one that was kind of white, so we'll see if there was any growth off like a nerve offshoot or sheath growth which I didn't look like that, but we'll see. This area can be tender. Also when I'm doing the cautery, sometimes you'll feel little stingers like that too, just cause it's a little electrical shock. Yeah, that one shot down. Yeah. Right towards. <laughs> Let me just do on the very edges here. Anytime you close a circle, you will have at the very edge just a little bit of skin. Sometimes it's bunched up. You just cut a small triangle like that. And you can cut that off there and it closes flat. Call it a burrows triangle, but nobody needs to know that. <laughs> so you can see here. Perfect. Okay, that looks good, nice and tight. We'll put a little pressure bandage on there. And that was just a simple punch removal of a small lipoma. Didn't see anything else deeper, don't feel anything else deeper, so that should take care of that. And nothing more, thanks for popping by.